the butterfly spread strategy is a type of volatility strategy so this involves a long position in two options and a two short positions in the same option so we can use calls or we can use puts but for this uh, video I'll be using call options so what we'll do is uh, we will first long one call option at a lower strike price and then we will long a call at a higher exercise strike price and then in between we will short two calls at the exercise price in the middle okay so there'll be these three steps that we'll do and the payoff diagram looks like this we have the spot price we have the gain and then if you are doing a long butterfly spread strategy then we will have this payoff okay of course we have the payoff uh, the strike price the lower strike price we have the middle strike price and then we have the higher strike price so this strategy will be profitable if the spot price is uh, within this range okay so this is what we call a low volatility strategy so of course if the volatility is high then we will end up losing so there's a maximum loss here okay if the spot price stays at the middle exercise price then we will have a maximum profit so this is the point of maximum profit and then there's two break-even prices now let's consider three call options on the stock that's currently selling for $14.50. The exercise prices are $13, $14, and $15, and the call prices are also given as follows. And the calls all expire at the same time, and the investor entered into a butterfly spread strategy. So let's determine the value of the position and the profit under the following outcomes. So first we'll build the strategy. So first we will long the call option at the lower exercise price of $13. And then we will long the call option at the high exercise price. And then we will short two calls at the middle exercise price of $14. So initially, the long call at $13, that the premium is $180, so we buy as a plus. Then the long call at $15, okay, it's, uh, the premium is $0.80, cents, another asset there. And then we short two calls, so that's negative 2 times the premium, $125. So in this case, the total premium initially will be 10 cents. Now, so this is a low cost strategy. Now in scenario A, when the spot price is 1260, so in this case, all of the options cannot be exercised because it's all the money. So the value expiration will be zero. So in this case, the gain will be zero minus 10 cents. That's a change. So there will be a loss of 10 cents here in the strategy. Then for scenario B, if the spot price is 1350, so that's slightly above the first long call. So the long call here at $13 can be exercised. So the payoff will be 50 cents. Then the other two options cannot be exercised. So the value expiration will be just 50 cents. And in this case, the gain will be 50 cents minus the 10 cents initial value. So there's a gain of 40 cents there for scenario B. Now in scenario C, when the spot price is 14.70, so both uh, now the first two options is exercised. So the for the long call at $13, the payoff is uh, 14.70 minus 13. So we get 170 from that. And then for this, uh, for the short two short calls here, the payoff will be fourteen seventy, okay, minus fourteen. But in this case, we short two calls, so that's negative two. So in this case, uh, the payoff here will be negative one forty. So we have to pay to the other parties. And then uh, the, for the last option is out the money. So the value expiration here will be thirty cents. And again will be the change in the value so that's 30 cents minus 10 cents so we gain 20 cents now let's look at the last scenario now for the last scenario when the spot price is 15.90 so in this case the payoff for the first long call is 15.90 minus 13 dollars so we get 290 and then for the short two the two short calls so that's negative two 
times 1590 minus 13 okay uh, sorry minus uh, 14 here so that's a uh, negative 380 and then for the last call we can exercise it so we get a payoff of 1590 minus 15 dollars so we get 90 cents there so in this case it exactly gives us a zero value okay so our gain here will be zero minus 10 cents so we lose 10 cents the maximum profit of the but long butterfly spread strategy okay is arrived when the spot price is equals to the exercise price which is in this case uh, 14 dollars is the exercise price in the middle so what we'll do now is we just set the spot price equals to the middle exercise price so the first option can be exercised so the payoff is 14 minus 13 that's one dollar then for the short two calls okay this is uh, these two options at the money so that's negative two multiplied by the spot price minus the exercise price so that's zero then the third option is out of the money so that's zero so our payoff or the value expiration for the strategy is one dollar so the gain here will be one minus ten cents so our maximum gain here will be 90 cents for the butterfly spread strategy uh, on the long position so the maximum loss is when the spot price is below the first exercise the lower exercise price and when it is greater than the higher exercise price so we can that and they are the same okay so I'll just take some price that's below 13 maybe I'll take uh, $10 okay so in this case if the spot price is $10 so all the options are again out of the money so the value at expiration is zero so the gain is the change in the value so that's a negative 10 cents so we lose 10 cents here now if I take something greater than 15 for example let's say if I take 20 here let's try out if I take a $20 so the first option is uh, is in the money so the payoff is 20 minus 13 I get $7 and then for the short two calls that's negative 2 times 20 minus 14 so that's uh, negative $12 and then for the last option is 20 minus 15 so I get $5 so it will always come back to 0 in this case so the gain will be the change in the value 0 minus 10 cents so that's a uh, negative 10 cents a uh, negative 10 uh, 0 0.1 which is a loss of 10 cents that is negative 0 0.1 okay and uh, earlier this is a uh, positive 0 0.9 so for the butterfly spread strategy there are two break-even prices the first one is slightly above the first call the first long call and then the second break even price is uh, above the sh uh, short two calls okay so let's start for the first one so for the first break even price only the first call option the long call will be uh, in the money so the rest will be out of the money so when the spot price is equals to s sub 1 the first break even price so the first option will be in the money so the payoff is s1 minus 13 and then the rest uh, will be out of the money so your initial value or uh, your ending value is s1 minus 13 and by definition the gain should be uh, s1 minus 13 minus the initial value of 10 cents so that should be equals to zero so if we work it out the break first break even price will be 13 plus 10 cents so that's 13 dollars and 10 cents and then for the second break even price in this case are uh, both uh, the long call at 13 dollars and the calls that we shot in $14 will be in the money and the last call will be out of the money so let's finish this off so in this case if the spot price is equals to s sub 2 the first option will be in the money so that's s2 minus 13 then the second option will be also the two sh uh, short two calls will also be in the money so let's write negative 2 times s2 minus 14 and then for the last call is out of the money so your ending value will be s uh, s2 minus 13 and then we plus the other payoff so that's a negative 2 s2 minus 14 and then uh, we compare it to the previous uh, so this is the value at expiration so by definition uh, the gain will be the change in the value so we will take the so s2 minus 2 times s2 will be negative s2 and then a negative 13 plus 28 
is plus 15 and then we minus the initial value of 10 cents okay that's zero so if we work it out then the second break even price will be $15 okay minus 10 cents so that's uh, $14.90